This is 24-year-old Anna. She fell in love with 47-year-old Andy. Yeah, we love each other. Can I kiss him? Yes. No. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Due to the 23 years separating them in age, some have been quick to judge their relationship choices. I've been called like a gold digger. By who? I'll beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> But that wasn't the only thing that was going to put a strain on their relationship. I got into bodybuilding a little bit over two and a half years ago. But when she told me she was interested in pursuing bodybuilding, where my mind went was huge bodybuilders that you see on TV. You know, muscles and veins ripped everywhere. I mean, I had some concerns, quite honestly. This is the decaf, isn't it, baby? We want the fully leaded today. You know, gasoline used to have, there used to be leaded and unleaded gasoline. What? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, when you go get gas, it says unleaded, right? When I was growing up, there was a pump for leaded gas and a pump for unleaded gas. Here, a hundred. We've been together about four and a half years. Our age gap is 23 years. 24-year-old Anna struck up a conversation with 47-year-old Andy while she was serving him his morning coffee, not knowing that a little over four years later, the pair would be living together. So Anna was a waitress and she was pursuing a job with the Indianapolis Police Department. And I'm a former police officer, so we kind of struck up conversations regarding that. That's kind of how we bonded until I felt like we had, you know, a pretty good connection. I was kind of surprised when Andy asked me out, but just like taken back because there is an obvious age gap. I talked to some of my girlfriends and they were like, oh, just do it, it'll be fun. So I did and we hit it off. And here we are. Yeah. Never come to. <laughs> no. No. You've only had one lady refer to me as your dad. <laughs> and he just goes, I'm not her father. And <laughs> the look on this lady's face was just, it's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> she, she like could not get us out of that checkout line fast enough. Oh. With 23 years separating them in age, the couple have gotten used to the stereotypes that come along when a man dates a younger woman. Being a business owner, it's not uncommon to attract attention from, from women in general who are more interested in money than they are in me. I've been called a gold digger, or, you know, like just... By who? I'll beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> like online and stuff, but it's like you just delete the comment and move on with your life. With that judgment in mind, Anna became concerned about revealing her new relationship to her family. I hesitated with telling my, my family and my friends just because like I was genuinely scared of their reaction. Their main concerns were, you know, like, was he in this for the right reasons? Was he only with me because I was young and pretty? But as soon as they were able to meet Andy and interact with him and get along, they were like, okay, this guy's in, in it for the real deal. It's never really been about appearance for us. <laughs> yeah. It's just not how we are. Yeah, so. She's mm -hmm. just lucky that I'm good looking. <laughs> <laughs> this is sound cheesy, but Andy's perfect for me. He's like, He's my person. Being 23 years older than Anna also meant that Andy didn't enter into the relationship as a young, free and single man, but had a past of his own. I was married previously to my girl's mother. I'm still very much their father, and I have a very good relationship with my ex-wife now. My, my girls are currently 23 and 26, so oddly enough, one's just younger than Anna and one's just older than Anna. Yeah. They all could have played together as kids. <laughs> but we didn't. <laughs> that we know of. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't the age gap or the judgment they received as a result of that which would be their biggest relationship challenge, but rather Anna's decision to enter into the world of bodybuilding. I got into bodybuilding over two and a half years ago. When Anna first told me that she was going to enter into competition, she used the word bodybuilding and most of us who are not in the sport, when we hear the word bodybuilding, we think Arnold Schwarzenegger. We think these huge, unbelievably muscular people. And that was just the image that stuck in my mind. It's, that's, that's not attractive. So that was my concern. I think we had an initial misconception and then the misconception just stuck and began to drain on the relationship. We actually broke up for a little bit. As time went on, he was able to understand it more and become more positive and supportive throughout the process. With Andy finally on board with her bodybuilding dreams, Anna now has her partner as her biggest cheerleader. And I'm in contest prep now. I'm about four weeks out from my show. Right now I'm in the gym every day. Hey, Rach. Hey, 
Living the dream. What's up? Ready? All day, every day. Deep breath. Let it out. Tighten. Uh, I think Anna's transformation is, it's been one of the funnest to watch. She's really come into herself as a bodybuilder. Bodybuilding, it's what I absolutely love to do. I couldn't imagine not doing it. It's a passion of mine. Quarter. Was I surprised that she was dating somebody who wasn't into fitness? Uh, yes, just because of my own interactions with dating people that aren't into fitness. However, Andy really makes it work. Two, hey, baby. Hey, Andy. Sweetie. Ready to the <laughs> World champion, yes. dad bod division. Oh, maybe taco division. <laughs> I love you. It hurt my soul. <laughs> with everything this pair has been through in their relationship, it's just shown them how perfect they feel they are for one another. I'm not embarrassed of what people think of us at all. Yeah, obviously there's an age gap there, but like when I come home, Andy's my, my other half. He's my, he's my person. I think our relationship works well because it's genuine. There's no real agenda. You know, we're both doing our own thing and succeeding at our own things in life and just helping each other do that. So uh, it's just very natural for us. Yeah, we love each other. <laughs> Can I kiss him? Yes. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs>